Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards, and it is Friday here on the channel, and that means dorking with dice on ice. That's right, we're doing it hockey style this week, a full box of vintage hockey cards, and one D20 to rule them all. Well, it may not rule them all, but it will tell us which of these packs we get to open, and in that way it kind of rules them all, I'm not sure if that's actually true or not. In any event, just loaded this uh, magic box back up this morning with five new packs of hockey cards. Well, they're not new. They're they're new to the box, but certainly not new. They're uh, at least 20 years old or more. And uh, I didn't realize I'd opened five last week. I, mean, I guess I must have gone all crazy and opened in five packs last week, but uh, apparently that's what I did. So we got 20 packs in here. Didn't open any of the big packs last week, so those much like the song on Led Zeppelin's live album, remains the same. First pack in the number one spot is 1982 Tops. This has been in there for quite a while, and I am really pumped to open that. I hope we get to get into that today. In the number 10 spot, we've got uh, this pack. It is, uh, I thought it was 88. Yeah, it is 88. All right, 88 Tops. There we are. 88 Tops has lots of good stuff in there that we could find. And in the back, we've got 9495 Tops Finest Hockey, which features seven high tech cards. They're high tech, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. None of that low tech stuff. It is high tech. Lots of insert cards can be pulled out of there. Lots of Hall of Famers in there as well. So uh, lots of good stuff in the box. As I said, I had a bunch of new packs. Let's see which one is going to be first here on Dorking with Dice on Ice. That one rolled right off the table. <laughs> that is. All right, let's try this again, see if we can get this to stay on. There we go. That was a solid 14. That's what we'll be opening. I know this is 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Oh, man, we are not starting off strong. We got some Pro Set 91, 92 Series 1. Fun set to open, but uh, not a lot of uh, inserts and, and uh, interesting stuff in here. But we'll see what we get. A lot of Hall of Famers in here. 90, 91 is... A, uh, a great year for hockey. 91-92 is a great year for hockey. Right in that early 90s era, there are tons of great cards. Of course, we got the uh, propaganda card there in the back. I will pull that away and toss it into the trash. Bruce Driver from the Devil starts things off for us today on Dorking with Dice on Ice. There he is, looking somewhat nondescript, just hanging out there on the ice, hoping the puck comes his way. Then we got Robert Cron from the Canucks, Mark Osborne. We got Gary Lehman and Stefan Mateau from Calgary. Brian Bellows, good player for the North Stars there. Very good player. Guy Carboneau, we hit him last week as well, so we got him again here. Michael Pivanka and Jim Johnson. Not Jimmy Johnson, the NFL coach. I don't think he ever played hockey, but Jim Johnson or James Johnson, perhaps. Peter Klima from the Oilers and Play Smart. I think that's... Is that Steven Shutt? I'm not sure who that is. Let's see who that is, if it tells us back here. Uh, let's see, it is Guy Carboneau. Okay, it's a double Guy Carboneau card pack here. Hot pack for Guy Carboneau. And he extols us to play smart. Wow, and I hear, this is what I'm talking about. This is the good stuff in here. Look at this old, old team card here. I'm going to bring that up close to the camera so you can check it out. That is a beauty. All stars in the Ace Bailey Benefit game of 1934, and it has all their names down there. Too small for me to read, but uh, that is the first All-Star game played in Maple Leaf Gardens on Valentine's Day, 1934. That is pretty awesome. Lots of Hall of Famers in this photo, no doubt about it. That is the best card I've pulled out of this pack. Tomas Sandstrom there in his All-Star uniform. And another nice sepia tone card. Let's see who this is. From the Maple Leafs. I'm afraid I don't recognize who that is. It is the Kid Line, Toronto's Terrific Trio. I should have recognized that. That is uh, pretty awesome to see those uh, cards. And here's somebody hoisting a trophy. It's Dirk Graham with the Selkie Trophy. Pretty nice. Dirk Graham was the NHL's top defensive forward in 1991. I still think my favorite's this team card. That is a pretty sweet card. I like that one a lot. I'm gonna put that on top and put it over here for us. All right, so let's get this back in focus. There we are. Man, my camera, I, I tell you, it's like somebody dropped my camera or something. It just does not want to focus on anything. There we go. All right, so let's roll this big pink D20, see what our second pack is going to be today. It is an eight. 
it is number eight. So uh, go back to pack ten here. Nine and eight is a good pack, actually. This is 1990, I believe. Where's the date on here? 1990, and it is OPG Hockey. This is kind of a big pack just to be jammed in there in the middle like that, but that is what we've got today. 1990 OPC for us to open. 9091, I guess, but uh, I think of it as 1990. It does have a piece of gum in here, but it also has several trading cards, or carts, as they are called in La France. I see a Paul Coffey greeting us right on the back, and I see a decrepit piece of gum that takes part of Pavel Kostichin's card away with it. But uh, it's actually pretty pink, but there is some mold there on the top, so I'm not going to be digesting that. Thank you very much. Let's start out with this Paul Coffey. I want to see what that looks like. Nice all-star card. That's a sweet card there. He's now with the uh, Oilers. Of course, he's with the Penguins by that point, but uh, still very nice OPC card. Put that one in the Wolf Lair, and then we'll get to uh, this damaged card from the Central Red Army Hockey League, or hockey team, rather. And uh, I don't, I think, I think that one is not going to be a keeper for me. That one has got a lot of gum residue on it. Mike Hudson from the Blackhawks there, looking over his shoulder, hoping he doesn't get checked suddenly. Randy Cunnyworth from the Whalers. Wendell Young. And Brendan Shanahan, that's a pretty good card too. Put that on top. Nice Devils card of that player. Good player. We got Bill Ranford, goalie for the Oilers. Kevin Deneen, another good player there for the Whalers. And Paul Reinhardt, the defensive for the Canucks. Looks like he's uh, standing for the uh, national anthem. O Canada, perhaps. All right, I'm going to leave uh, Brendan Shanahan on the top. That's a pretty good pull from that. And, of course, the Paul Coffey is going to go in the Wolf Lair. I'm going to keep that one myself. We have rolled a 14, and I believe we have also rolled an 8. So let's see what we get for our third pack here on the show today. We get a 15. All right, very well. I know we pulled 14, so 11, 12, 13, imaginary 14, and then 15 is Pinnacle. It's a pretty good pack. Pinnacle NHL Hockey 91-92. You get 12 cards per pack, and this is the premier edition of Pinnacle. Pretty good set and really pretty cards, as I recall. And there are some uh, inserts in here that I think we will be able to find. Get this open. These are, I remember, tough to open. There's, uh, they're not particularly thick foil, but they're really glued tight. All right, there we go. And you'll see what I'm talking about. These are pretty nice cards. Check that one out. There's some polo racing and uh, somebody looking sort of grumpy. I don't know who that is. Looks a little like Sting. Did he play hockey? I don't think he did. All this time, and I'm still not sure. It's Larry Robinson, the longtime defenseman, played for the Canadiens for many years, Hall of Famer. I forgot that he uh, had played that long, but there he is playing for the Kings. I guess he must have been a big polo fan as well. Yeah, a recent passion for uh, for polo. That's kind of uh, an unusual sport for somebody to get into if they're into another sport, but I guess you use the mallets there in kind of a similar way that use hockey sticks. Not really, but I'm, I'm stretching there. There's Deneen. We get another Deneen card here. Kevin Deneen in his tux. And then uh, we get a rookie card of Chris Winness from the Bruins. And Chris Terrari, the goalie for the Devils there, getting a lot of Devils today. Todd Cragier from the Capitals. And Wendell Clark from the Leafs. Brad McCrimmon, good defensiveman. Craig Wollinen. Luke Richardson from the Oilers, Frederick Olafson, and Dave Gagne from the North Stars. Good center there for them for several years. Steve Bozek finishes out the pack from the Sharks, and uh, that is our pack. i got to say, I think that Larry Robinson card right off the top was probably the best one. He is a Hall of Famer, even though that's kind of an unusual card, a little bit weird. We're going to roll one more pack today. Why not see what we get out of here? That was, uh, what was that, 15? We've rolled 14, 15, and 8. So let's see if we can avoid a duplication here. Oh, man, we almost had that 20. We didn't get the 17. We got the 18. I put a pack I really wanted to open in the 17 spot, but instead we get 18. Also a good pack there, though, if I'm remembering right. Here's 20, 19, and 18. Yes, this is a good one. It is OPG again. This is 1992, however. See, we've been mostly around that early 90s era where you generally do pull a lot of Hall of Famers, and we've been not really pulling that many. We got Coffee and we got Larry Robinson, and, and really, I think that's about it. Is Brendan Shanahan in the Hall of Fame? I don't think he is, but uh, he was a very good player. All right, so uh, this is 92, as you can see, OPG, or maybe you can't see, I'm not sure. There you go. 
And you get eight cards in the pack. No bubble gum in these, so uh, we won't have any ruined cards on us, which is uh, a good thing. Let's see how we uh, get into this one. These are a little tight, too, I have to say. All right, there we go. All right. All right, so here we go, OPC 92, and we start off with uh, Detroit Red Wings. Is that the team card for them? Or are they just, I guess, yeah, I guess that's the team card, yeah. Detroit Red Wings team card and the Canadiens team card. Let's get these in focus. It'll be a lot more fun for you. All right, here we go, camera working. All right, here's the Canadiens team card. And then we got Dave Barr, another Devils card. I've hit more Devils today than I think I've ever gotten in an opening for hockey on this channel. That is a lot of Devils cards. We got Pierre Turgeon, a good center there for the Islanders, played for several different teams. Good player he was, and Troy Mallett from the Oilers in his warm-up uniform looking completely nonplussed. You're about to play an NHL hockey game there, Troy. Come on, get a little more excited, buddy. We got Dave Gagne, that's the second time we've seen him. There he is for the North Stars. And uh, Darren Shannon from the Jets. And Yarmo Milis from the Sharks. Good goalie for them for a little bit of time. All right, well, that was, I got to say, that was not great. I'm going to have to roll a fifth pack. I, I think that's the only thing that you can do here. I, apparently, I rolled five last week, so perhaps that's the new norm for dorking with dice on ice. I'm, I'm good with that if you guys are. Let's roll our fifth pack, and maybe we'll get something better. Maybe we'll get one of the big packs in the 110 or 20 spot. Last pack today, what's it going to be? It is the 10. There we go. I'm not going to let that have another chance to roll itself out of being that 10. Let's get that baby out of there. This is a 1988 Tops pack. Wax pack it does have gum in it, so we may have one card on the top or the bottom there that is ruined. But this is a good pack, some good rookies in here. Let's see how we do today. Finally get one of those big packs. And the gum did not stick. Gum is actually uh, in pieces, but in remarkably good shape. I wonder if it smells like bubble gum. No, it doesn't doesn't really smell like anything other than dust. And that's just how it is with gum like that, I guess. All right, so this is pretty good. I already see a good card on the back. I'm going to flip this over. We'll start off with Bent Gustafsson from the Caps. Good player. Played for... Uh, I'm trying to remember who else he played for. He played for several different teams. And uh, he was a pretty good, good center, hard-hitting kind of guy. Brad Marsh, defensive man for the Bruins there, playing without his helmet because uh, I guess he was grandfathered in. He did have a long career in the NHL. Bob Sweeney and uh, Chris Nalan from the Rangers there. Good right wing for them. James Patrick, another Rangers card. Troy Herkut from the Blues. And then we get to our flip and we see a nice card of Scott Stevens. Speaking of a guy who could really lay it out up against the board, Scott Stevens could do that. There he is with the Caps. Nice all-star card for him. And Kevin Hatcher behind him, another Capitals player. Ray Bork, there is a uh, Hall of Famer for us. Nice Ray Bork card there. Out of focus, of course, because my camera is utterly pointless today. I don't know what is going on with this thing. i got to figure out some different setting for this camera. I don't know what is up with that. Put that in the wolf layer. John Chabot looking somewhat ruefully up at the uh, scoreboard. I don't know what he's looking at there. Steve Duchesne and Brett Hall. <laughs> that is one of the big rookie cards out of that. That is a huge hit. That is a Brett Hall rookie card right there. That is one of the best cards you can pull out of this set. That is a sweet one for sure. And I think we got another Hall of Famer right behind him and Dale Horachuk there with the Jets. That is a nice Horachuk card too. Put both of those in the Wolfler. Let's have a look at this Brett Hall. Little off center, unfortunately, but still very, very nice pack fresh Brett Hall rookie. That is a sweet one. Nice to pull that. All right. Well, not too bad. Glad we got that big pack. It certainly lived up to its billing, I would say. What did we get in the Wolf Lair today? That Brett Hall rookie and Dale Horachuk, of course. And Ray Bork, three of the four Wolf Lair cards all out of that last pack. And then a nice Paul Coffey all-star card from uh, OPC right there. And none of these are in focus. So I don't know why I'm even bothering doing this. So those are our best pulls today, in my opinion. If there was something else you saw in there that you thought was really good, let me know in the comments. Of course, I always like to know which cards you guys like best. Very fun to open these hockey packs with you. I thank you so much for coming by the channel today, and I hope you have great weekend plans coming up. Probably going to do an episode this weekend. I don't usually do weekend episodes, but my son uh, asked me if we could do one this weekend, and I said, certainly we can, and I think there's some uh, stuff for him to open up, too. So uh, we should have an episode for you this weekend. Saturday or Sunday, you can look forward to that. And, of course, I'll be back here on Monday. 
Not sure what I'm going to open on Monday. I haven't thought that far ahead, but uh, sure, it will be interesting and fun, no doubt about it. So I'll see you back here this weekend, and uh, hopefully you'll be having a good time, as I'm sure I will as well. Thanks so much for coming by today. Appreciate it. And uh, I will uh, wish you happy collecting.